Five best AI SEO tools to use in 2024. Are you ready to revolutionize your SEO strategy in 2024? Look no further. In today's video, we are diving into the top five SEO tools that are taking the digital marketing world by storm. Whether you are a seasoned SEO expert or just starting out, these tools are guaranteed to elevate your website rankings and drive more traffic than ever before. Stay tuned to discover the ultimate arsenal for dominating the search engine results page. And tool number four is my favorite. Also, before I start going into these tools, none of these tools promote AI content writing, which we all know Google hates right now. So here are my five SEO tools. Tool number one, Harper AI Chrome extension. It allows monitoring changes in competitor content for SEO optimization, customizable monitoring settings, including frequency and triggers, sends notification based on specific changes, enables spying on competitors for improved ranking. So here, let's say I've taken out our competitor and I will, for me, it looks like the, I'm going to go into the automate section and here I can see the page text elements. I'm going to click, I'm going to choose monitor and I'm going to choose monitor and I can choose human readable content. Basically, if there is any content changes, I can push the triggers. How do you want threshold and how do you want these triggers to pop up on my screen as well in the icons for them? Once I go back, I can also choose how these action and integrations happen. I can do you do I want emails to be sent to me? I can use emails so any changes happens and it automatically emails me. I can also schedule it. So the, now the second way is I can use it to summarize the video. So let's see how we can summarize the video here. So I just opened one of my video and I just clicked on nested. You have different options here. So here I will just take the summary of the video. And here, as you can see, it's generating the summary of the video. Now, the best part is once the summary is generated, I can actually ask it to write. Now, I'm going to type based on the transcript of this video, give me an action point. So as you can see, sometimes you do not have time to watch the whole video. You can actually get them all the main points from this video. So just to recap, create a summary, quick summary of the video and then create an action point. So I will type best nonstick cookware and I'm going to ask based on the page, give me an SEO title that creates curiosity is engaging and no more than 50 characters. So you will see Harpa API is going to scan through the page, through the title and give me the best titles out of there. Now I go ahead and I say, what's the search intent of this keyword based on the page. So as you can see, I'm typing it and it, uh, Harpa AI is providing me the search content also intent of this particular page. You can utilize Harpa AI in various ways like for extracting key points from video efficiently, obtaining summarized action items from video instead of watching them entirely, automate SEO tasks such as generating SEO titles and understanding search intent. In turn, improving your content creation process by analyzing competitors and generating relevant content guidelines. Tool number two, Perplexity Chrome extension. This is a free Chrome extension focused on facts based research. Provide source-based data for content creation and SEO. Offers functionality for generating list, keyword research and competitor analysis. Allows scrapping of competitor content and generating content outlined based on top ranking competitors. Let's have a look how it works. So first step is to install Perplexity Chrome extension for uh, extension in your Chrome browser. And let's say how you can utilize is for these various tasks. So here I have installed the Chrome extension. And I'm going to ask it, what are the top 10 non-stick frying pans in India? Press enter. So here you see what perplexity is doing. It is going through the top 10 results and actually giving me all the sources from these. So as you can see, there are sources like Kitchen Advisor, Times of India, Everything Better. And I will click on one of these links, for example, Everything Better. And I can open that and try to understand later what kind of a content is coming. So what it has done is it is giving me sources for all of these content. So I can see for all the top nine results it has given, it is providing me the source. One of the results which I have opened is everything better. For example, if I see this is a competitor I can focus on. So I'm going to analyze this page. Let's go ahead and type what do you want this page to be analyzed. So what I'm going to ask, so I'm going to ask, give me LSI keywords of this page. And the important, the focus should be this page. So you can select the focus by the drop down. So as I can see, it gives me all the latent semantic indexing related to particular page, best non-stick cookware brands and all these. Now I go ahead and give me a content outline based on the content of this page. So now Perplexity go ahead, went ahead and gave me the content outline of this page, which of course I can use for my writer or for my, myself writing. 
So this I can copy from here. Here is another URL I went and uh, cache karo and I am going to say this grade this content for SEO from a score of 1 to 10. So this content can be now perplexity, now perplexity is going to grade this page. It gives me SEO grading 7 out of 10. So this is a nice way of comparing your content with a competitor which is ranking. Now I go back to perplexity and I say it gives me related content. What are the different types of non-stick frying pans in India? What are the pros and cons of non-stick frying pans? What are the price range? So let's click one of these. And again, it gives me the answer based on the sources. So I can look at the sources as well. And once these answers are provided to me, I can then go ahead and generate the content outline for the same content. Another interesting way is if I have to take the competitor, let's say if I'm doing a research, what kind of a content can I write and what kind of a products can I use? So I went to Amazon.in and in this case, I use this domain from the focus and I ask perplexity, give me best selling frying pans. So perplexity will gone through all of the web pages and give me the five best content. So of course, this is good for uh, the affiliate content writers or affiliate marketers who can very easily and it is actually giving me the source as well. So and I can copy it on the clipboard and use the same exact content as well. So basically, as you can see, it is not just providing content. It is actually doing a fact based research going through the URLs and providing those content. So these are some things which ha helps with perplexity. So just to recap, it helps you improve SEO content quality by grading the content and of course, uh, the fact based content and the summary you can use is one of the best features here. Tool number three, AI PRM Chrome extension, a free plugin that integrates seamlessly with chat GPT. So let's see AI PRM as you can see, it's available for Chrome for free and it offers a vast variety of prompt uh, libraries. If I go to chat GPT where it is installed, you will be able to see there are almost 4800 plus prompts which are available for you to use. You can just go ahead and install it in your Chrome and it will show up in ChatGPT. I will go ahead. As you can see, there are 4,818 prompts available. Let's select the topic SEO, one of my favorites and gonna use keywords as an activity. And if you see, there are 168 prompts available, keyword generator. I'm gonna use one of the prompts just to show what we can do. So for keyword generator, I'm using non-stick cookware. And if you see AIPRM uh, prompt, helps me create a list of con uh, keywords which I can use further to do the analysis. Now here is one more prompt. I'll go to this and I will use another prompt which I can sue once I have the keywords. I would use the keyword clustering. So again keyword clustering which used to take uh, I've just post again I would use keyword clustering. I've used these keywords here and as you can see chat GPT within less than 30 seconds is able to provide me the intent for these keywords and actually able to cluster it in a tabular format which I can use. Keywords idea by search intent. Let's say I'm going to type non-stick cookware and going to see what kind of a keywords idea it generates. So the chat GPT here is at work. Now it's providing me keywords idea what kind of a content I can generate product reviews. So as you can see it provides me the content in the tabular format and group me here. So something I can do. And of course beyond this chat GPT provides you a vast library. So I will recommend you to go ahead and try those. Just to summarize, AI PRM provides you solution for writing blogs, articles or books and it even allows you to create customized prompts based on a specific topic or needs. Tool number four, chat GPT-4. Now of course we have used it with IPRM but here I'm gonna show you some special way and one of my favorites So how you can use chat GPT-4 for further site analysis. It's one of my go-to SEO checklist with Google search console and GPTs. So when I tackle SEO projects, I always start with these steps. They help me decide which keyword and pages need optimization, which one should be removed or where to add new content. Step one, download all the pages and query data from Google Search Console account. Total GSC data analyzer and I'm gonna select find keyword that rank on page number two but not mentioned in title. I've gone ahead and selected all the files which I've downloaded from Google Search Console. Now I'm gonna give a prompt which, say, which is find keyword that rank on page two but are not mentioned in the title. So now, ChatGPT is going to analyze all these CSV files and, and actually going to give me actionable advice on which all keywords I can add in the title and which all pages need my help. 
Now, next prompt is going to be find keywords that have high impression but are not mentioned in the content. So, again, ChatGPT is going to analyze these pages and give me a CSV to export and use. Ensure and it ensures that the keywords are mentioned in my content as Google already finds them relevant. Prompt number three find keywords that are getting a lot of impressions but no or low click. These are potential opportunities. A high impression count means your site is showing up in search results but a low click through rate suggests that users are not finding your listings. So I go ahead here chat GPT is analyzing those keywords. Prompt number four find keywords that are ranking in position 3 to 11. What it means is we are almost there just need to put extra efforts into these by optimizing my content and build some backlinks to boost the rankings. Prompt number five find keywords that have low average ranking positions but high CTR. These keywords are already doing good in terms of CTR. I just need to optimize content to get a higher ranking. Prompt number six, find keywords cannibalization. This is one of my favorite ways to understand if there is a keyword cannibalization. What keyword cannibalization is for same keyword there are more than one URL ranking. So you can use chat GPT to analyze those as well. Tool number five, phrase is one of the best AI content optimization tool out there and it is not heavy on your pocket. It helps in increasing chances of ranking higher in search engines. It tells you how well your content covers the topic. It helps optimize the, it helps identify the keywords and optimize content also. Of course, phrase provides insight into website performance compared to competitors. It actually tells you what your competitor writing and winning. Let's dive deeper into this by what we can do. So if you look, I am a phrase, you have different options. You can do content analytics. You can do outline building. You, you have an article rewriter. The, it comes with various AI tools, AI writer with web knowledge, blog introduction, blog title idea, article writings, and various other tools. So you can use phrase again to optimize your content and get ranked better. There you have it folks, the future of SEO is here and these AI power tools are leading the way. Don't miss out on the opportunity to supercharge your SEO efforts in 2024. And if you want to unlock SEO and master backlink anchor text in minutes, do check out my this video showing on the screen right now. Also be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more cutting edge tips and insights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.